Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. <clears throat> We're doing a little bedtime snack. So let me tell you what I made. I fried up some shrimp. I fried up uh, two small potatoes, two really small potatoes. Um, so we're going to say this is about uh, 400 calories. And because uh, I know the potatoes are 100 calories a piece. But uh, I actually came back because I wanted to eat some more because I didn't eat a whole lot. But earlier on my life. I was going to fix a whole lot, but let me see if I can get a thumbnail. All right, now let's put these so they can get warm. But, um, yeah, um, on my live, someone asked the question uh, if you hear somebody on YouTube is talking about you. What should you do? And my answer is, if you value that person, then approach them about it. You know? Find out if it's true. Nine times out of ten, it was a, some type of form of miscommunication. And uh, you probably can get through it. But, I do say question this. Why are they telling you this information? What's their motive? So, you know, don't let this YouTube thing ruin your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Don't forget to get your coldest water bottle. The link is in the description box. But you know what? I also thought for a minute there, it ran through my head that everything that was going on with Tosh Time and Chrissy P, maybe it was a social experiment by one of the people. But then, you know, I went to a couple different lives and no, it ain't no social experiment. Ooh. Listen, dang. Looks like I gave up too quick. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do it. Wait. Turn it down. Mm -mm -mm. We got to do better in 2020. You know what? I, I'm going to do better in 2020. I can't speak for other people. Mm -hmm. Even better. In 2020. Yes, y'all. We got that. As you might say, uh huh. That d blueberry outside die coat. But. It's heartbreaking to see everything that's going on because I like all of them. I don't take sides because you know what? I don't have to. You know? And uh, I respect everybody. I don't know, per know everybody on a personal level. No? But I think they're all beautiful people. This is that garlic aioli by uh, Kraft. It's so good. But, um, you know, I'm just staying out of it. But it just breaks my heart that all these beautiful women are, you know, into it. Mm. So I'll pray on the back end that they're talking it out.
And if it's not a social experiment, make it one. No? Mmm. No, it's gonna cool down a little bit. But yeah. That's heartbreaking. You know, see these ladies going at it. So to me, they're all fun and entertaining in their own way. You know? They all be spitting some gems and different, oh, different subjects. So, but that's just my opinion. People may not agree. You know? But me, you don't have to. No? I had a few people in my comment section. On my, um, let's see, files. I had a Robin Pinnell. She told me, I'm glad you said that you are very, very boring. You have been on here almost 15 minutes and you haven't said anything of interest. I clicked because of the title and you have said very little about lips. Okay, I'm done. I won't be subscribing. Well, Miss Pinnell, you don't have to subscribe. Um, when I get ready to say what I was going to say, I said it. But thanks for the view. Sorry that you got so upset because you're so nosy about drama. If you want to call me boring, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. But guess what? I'm me. And you don't have to like it. But I can probably almost guarantee this. There's a probably reason why you don't have a profile picture on there. And yes, I'm being petty. Because I'm sure you haven't taken the time to listen to everybody's video. And I'm sure if you would have saved for the rest of my video, you would have seen what I had to say. But my video wasn't that long. But you know, this is social media. And you're entitled to your opinion. And it was well received. And I was unaffected. But you gave me a little content to uh, react to. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <clears throat> so. Move on to the next comment. I guess we could say this. Uh, some of my negative comments. I just say they were hateful. A lady by the name of this Tunisia Green. I wonder why your mama spelled your name like that. But anywho, yes, Petty. Yet here you are trying to use his issue to build yourself and gain from those channels that was present. Shaking my fucking head. You can't comment on your. Uh oh. She said, you can't comment on what you're not present for and calling him a predator is quite slanderous. And no, I'm not a fan. Not his fan, no sub here, and you're boring. Don't come for me. Well, Miss Tanija Green, I hope your mama knew how she was spelling your name. Um, thank you for the view and thank you for the comment. And guess what? You evidently didn't read the whole video because I'll let you know I wasn't there. And my response to the lip situation was his, my, how I got thrown in it. But since you didn't listen to the whole video, you wouldn't know that. And yes, I said the, the, the accusations 
that were made, yeah, to me, that falls into the predatory category. I don't take that back. It is what it is. Okay? So if you don't like what I said, you're more than welcome to go back and re-look at the video over and over until you can comprehend the words that came up out of my mouth. I said what I said. Okay, now you have a fabulous day. Let's next. The next one was Natural Beauty 0708. You as well don't have a profile picture. And I kind of probably know why. Because guess what? On YouTube, you can be whoever you want to be. And if you're strong in the face, you sure ain't going to put no, prof no real profile picture up there. I'm surprised you didn't have an avatar. But anywho, moving on to your comment. I'm not sure even why people are still commenting on this. At this point, it's for a coin. They said the thing is, the sad thing, the, the sad thing is that it's black mukbangers that are doing it. Okay. Well, first off, Let's say that you meant to say the sad thing is that it's black mukbangers. Not mukbangers, but mukbangers. So if you want to, you can go back in and edit that and put S-A-D instead of S-A-I-D. And then on mukbangers, instead of M-U-C-K, B-A-N-G-E-R-S, you can just put M-U-K, B-A-N-E-R. Okay? N-G-E-R. Okay? Now, I'm not no English teacher, and I'm not real good on it, but I know a couple things. So... That was it. And I said what I said. And if somebody don't like it, I'm sorry. You don't have to. You don't have to. I'm not apologizing for what I have to say. I didn't say he was a predator, I don't think. What I said was, that's predatory behavior. People don't have to agree with what my opinion is just that my opinion. It's no fact or foe. It's just my opinion. You don't even have to respect my opinion. But just know it's mine and you can't change it. But last lady, if you want some English classes, I can't teach you nothing, but I know a beautiful lady, honey. She's a mukbanger, and she's also an English teacher. She's passionate about it. She can hook you up with a few lessons. Huh. Don't try to come for somebody and you say I'm retarded. You over there trying to be so nosy. You can't even uh spell right. And that ain't even autocorrect. So, there you go. But thank you for the view. I had some time, so I'll figure out how to respond to it. After I was responding to it. Sure dare. Petty moments. I think that's all I put in the title. But back to the previous subject. Those ladies. Um, I think they're all beautiful ladies. And I hope they work it out. Because I will continue to enjoy their regular content. It's hard to hear them talk 
bad about each other the way they did. They did. Very hard. Um. No. I might be boring some people. This is okay. Click on my video and leave me a nasty comment if you like. Let everybody know how you feel. Just like everybody should know, they are important. And their opinions are important to them. And when you that leave nasty comments, At your level of competency, your comments are important to you, and that's okay. There's levels to it. And as long as you value your opinion, that's all that matters. Because, honey, you two are a star, and you shine bright like a diamond on some spectrum. I would never say I degrade or berate somebody because I'm not perfect and I have moments. But I praise somebody first before I try to break them down. I would look at your strength before I look at your weaknesses. And the reason why is because if all I do is focus on your weaknesses, I'll never see the beauty in your strength. And what I think is your weakness could be your strength. So... We're human. We're not perfect. We all make mistakes. Embrace it. Move on. That's all we can do. But yeah, for a minute there, y'all, I thought that whole drama stuff was almost a soap experiment. Because the little blows started coming from nowhere in somebody else's life. And I'm like, they just joking around. But I was in somebody else's life, and it ain't no social experiment. Or at least they don't know what it is. But, yeah, I had to rest. Let's keep them in prayer. Let's keep everybody in prayer. You know? Because, through diff different times of your life, you go through stuff. And you might just need a prayer. You know, prayer for strength. Prayer for guidance. Mm -hmm. You know, by you praying for somebody else, you might be actually be praying for yourself. You don't even know it. God let things happen for a reason. You know?
you know, even with this whole situation, whole drama that came up, you know, it helped me be a little bit more conscious. And my videos, you know, and address different things. And so, good things are coming out of it. Mm -hmm. And I think going forward, it's actually going to make us stronger as a mukbang community. People will start back doing collabs. If they want to. Like I said, I can't really do in-person collabs. Because of my career, and I'm a workaholic. But if the opportunity presents itself, and I'm available, and that person's willing to do it, I'll do a collab. But it's not going to be a it's not necessarily on my to-do list. Like I got to do this collab with. PewDiePie on my channel this year. Or oh, I gotta do this collab with Trisha Paytas. This year. You know? It's not like that. If I get a collab, wonderful. If I don't, no sweat off my back. Um, this is fun for me. Oh. But as my channel's growing. I am starting to set some goals for things my channel could help me with. Definitely. So, all this stuff actually, you know, I've been fenced to it. You can think of negative benefits right now. So will come out with a positive. You have to remember, God makes you uncomfortable so that you can grow. It's just like a crab and a lobster. When they get too big for their shell, they break out of it. But the only way they're going to break out of it if the pressure's too high and they get uncomfortable. But otherwise, why grow? So there's always a reason. You might not be able to see it while you're in the storm, but there's a reason. There's definitely... Okay, you guys, don't forget to be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing to somebody else. And smile at somebody. You just might change their world. And remember, honey, you over here, you a star. Whether you a strong on the face star, a gorgeous star, a strong star, a tall, short star, you are a star, honey, and you shine bright like a diamond in your own element. Just remember that. Nobody is the same. <clears throat> and we're all blessed. Okay? So until next time, Peace. Bye.